Okay, it's your boy, the Obese Ninja Fan 69. And today we're going to be checking out a restaurant that is more unhealthy than McDonald's. Now, now, listen, I know what you're saying, okay? A restaurant more unhealthy than McDonald's? I know, it's hard to believe. I didn't believe it at first. But this, this restaurant that we're going to be looking at today is... Oh, it's something... It's unhealthy on, like, another level. Jesus, it's so unhealthy. Harmful nature okay. of its food, a selling point. Its name, get this, the Heart Attack Grill. And they oh, do bring a certain whimsical okay. comedy to serving up giant versions of meals that have been American favorites for generations. But as Ryan Owen explains, beyond the, beyond the comedy are some very real health concerns. In a country where calories are posted on the menu wait, wait. and the White wait, House what? has a vegetable garden, <laughs> sometimes the reality looks more like this. The, this monument to the greasy gluttony oh. is called the Heart Attack Grill. I wonder why it's a sort of because of, it can be because of its food. Okay. Located in Chandler, Arizona, a suburb of Phoenix. We have full sugar Mexican Coke. Get your arms in over here. Every customer Jeez. must wear a hospital gown. I'm dying. <laughs> and they are waited on by scantily clad nurses. Still, it's what's on the menu that gets most of the attention. <laughs> Single, double, triple, or quadruple bypass burger. Bro, are you oh, sure that's a doing? burger? That, that looks like the freaking Eiffel Tower. What? The fries <laughs> called flatliner fries. Fried in lard. Don't they, don't, they don't look too flat to me. <laughs> are unlimited. To Jesus. wash it all down, how about a butter fat shake? Oh, oh. <coughs> okay. That, that is disgusting. Oh my god. I think I've just added like... I think I've just grown like 100 pounds after just hearing that, man. God. Restaurant has become <coughs> part of a national sensation. I'm up another few inches. In no small bruh, bruh. to this very big man, Blair River, the so-called model of the heart attack grill. Oh my god, yeah, you stuff that down, mate. Wash it down, mate. I'm at 570 pounds, wow. six foot eight, yeah. So. And you smile a lot, though, okay. In January. Back then, he told us one of the perks of the job is eating free. Anyone who is over 350 pounds doesn't have to pay. Wait, wait, what? Wait, what? Bro, this restaurant is straight up trying to kill... This this restaurant is straight up trying to kill fat people, man. If you're over 350 pounds, don't come to this restaurant. In fact, ju just don't come to this restaurant. No matter what weight you are, this will kill you. Oh, my God. They're actually trying to kill fat I'm people. I'm big, you know what I mean? And so, so why not? I don't eat here every day. So, so why not have fun with it and, and go with it as long as I can? Sadly, we now know how long that was. Oh, Blair no. died last week he... at the age of 29. Jesus. His family says the cause of death was pneumonia. Uh, yeah, oh, okay. Oh, oh, okay. They made, like... They're only saying that because he made, like, a lot of... You know, they made the cha-ching off those adverts. <laughs> that There was no way he died in pneumonia. Like... A year, he's a spokesman for this place. The heart attack... The... The heart attack be really. linked to obesity. Oh. When your spokesperson drops dead at the age of 29, and he's morbidly obese by anybody's estimation, don't you have a problem? Absolutely. Who wouldn't? John Basso owns the heart attack grill. As part of the act, he dresses up like a doctor. <laughs> Every single person cared about Blair. Had he have been thinner? He most probably would have survived that pneumonia. And that's but a pneumonia, okay, okay, yeah, it was definitely pneumonia that killed him. I'm not sure, kidding. you're definitely a real doctor, you know. Not not a serial killer, eh? No. There's okay. an argument to be made that you use this guy during his life, and that now you are very morbidly using his death to continue to promote your restaurant. I absolutely agree. And wait, in a very wait, wait, way, what? The Gee, this, so this, this guy is bruh, bruh. man. Jesus. For a man who is making an awful <laughs> oh, lot of money this. serving up artery-clogging burgers, oh, Masso has a most unusual justification that America needs shock therapy to cure its obesity epidemic. I, I'm never going to eat my messages. again, man. He once owned a chain <laughs> of Jenny Craig weight loss centers. 
and several personal training studios. This, oh, okay. This guy, this guy right here, this guy owned fitness studios, and now he's the the owner of the most unhealthy restaurant. Oh, oh, okay. I know that every single person out there comes in and buys a hamburger and a t-shirt from me. But you know what? T-shirts? Man, I thought this was a restaurant, not some bruh, bruh. freaking, freaking merch shop. Like, I want to, I want to sell t-shirts there, man. Hell? Any business in America can. This is dangerous. Oh, he's using this in a marketing tool. I mean, the word that just leaps to mind is hypocrisy. You won't be surprised to hear real nutritionists take issue with this fake victory and argue he's laughing all the way to the bank. I think there are real ethical issues in what he's doing. If he believed that diet oh, had okay. nothing to do with health and was selling those foods, then at least you could think, well, okay, he's misinformed. But he knows what he's doing. He's deliberately trying to get people to eat more than they need. Blair, you say, was also your friend. Yo, and this guy's gonna be a, this guy's a serial killer, man. <laughs> I can just tell. Those eyes up. He's... My conscience is simply this. What would Blair hovering above me want me to do right now? And Blair would say this. Put, put back on the stethoscope. Let's keep being the doctor that everyone loves to hate. Because that really gets the message out to keep delivering that message oh a week after blair's untimely death the heart attack grill has another spokesmodel yes that's his real last name and yes he is chowing down on a quadruple bypass Jesus. even though my cardiologist and my wife uh, tell me not to come and after surviving a coma and multiple heart surgeries, I, I still come. I enjoy the burgers. Then you're a dickhead. He was actually the spokesperson before Blair, but had to take a few months off after open heart surgery. Jeez. That's the taste. That's worth dying for. Now Blair is dead, and Ernie's back. The fact that yes, ma'am. Big man Ernie back. He knows quadruple, quintuple, quadruple burgers. Yeah. Anybody. Oh my god, the fact that the fact that he keeps a straight face through all of this is creepy. Aren't you glorifying obesity which Absolutely. obviously kills? Absolutely. I think it would be immoral to stop at this point. Explain that to me. We're past the point of no return at the heart attack grill. We have blood on our hands at this point. The doctor is taking his act on the road, opening a second <laughs> restaurant in Dallas this summer. To spread his yeah, morbid yeah. message yeah. to an even bigger audience. Hey. I'm Ryan Owens for Nightline in Chandler, Arizona. Okay. Well, that was um, interesting. So, yeah, that's the heart attack grill. Go there if you want to die, I guess. Um, I mean, if I had one fry there, I'd probably die. So, yeah. That's the end of the video. And... Sorry in the pit, guys. <laughs>